Yeah, I think obviously we knew that <clears throat> this would always be a very, very difficult match against the Orlando Pirates. As a club, our record against them hasn't been that brilliant over the over the years. You know, their biggest strength is that front four, Selang, Mafokeng, Mabaso and Masuangani. We knew that they're a team that like to build up, play out from the back. But they are also a team that's extremely dangerous on the transition and balls in behind. You know, so, so all of these things we planned, we prepared for in terms of how we were going to press them. The most important factor for me was players going out there, being brave, play without fear. And I felt in that first half, we didn't do that. We, our passing was really, really poor. You know, we gave a ball away cheaply. Um, and then we got caught with that one ball in behind, which is, <laughs> which is extremely disappointing. Yes, we had a chance to, to score, but you get caught with a ball in behind and you find yourself one nil down. You know, and I explained to the players, you know, home game, especially in this competition with a away goal, you know, we needed to try and keep a clean sheet. So the way we conceded it was poor, but at least the, the players reacted to a certain degree positively. But our first half performance wasn't great. So I wasn't happy with them. Half time I spoke to them about our passing, the speed of the ball, our movement off the ball. Because too often someone was receiving and not having options available to himself. And you started to see that in the second half a lot better. And we ended up spending majority of the second half in their final third. And, and we created uh, some half chances. Um, but you know, I think Darren had to make one save in the second half, but it was a shot from Otto from a difficult angle that I don't think would have gone in. But I thought really second half we dominated. And the whole idea was to dominate over 90 minutes. And had we have dominated over 90 minutes, then I think we would have come away here with more than just a 1-1 one, one draw, you know. But the response from the players, second half, very, very chuffed, very, very happy. I saw more positives this evening than negatives. And we'll take those positives, show them, and obviously go that side and have to play with the same energy and the same intensity, but with a a more positive mentality, knowing that we need to get the away goal. But I think we created enough chances tonight uh, to tell ourselves that we've got a great chance going there. Well, coach, that half an hour in the second half, was it just mental change or tactical change as well? Because I mean, the intensity and I mean, control of it that you guys took off. Yeah, it's like I said to you, our passing in the first half was poor. Weight of our pass, speed of our pass. Was, was very, very poor. You know, it wasn't because pirates made it difficult for us. You know, we, we, we just seemed to, to be static and, and the weight of our pass was, was, was very, very poor. And then we got caught with the intercepts. We got caught on the ball because the weight of the pass was poor. Uh, sometimes Prince, it's not his biggest strength, which is coming into pockets. His biggest strength is the ball in behind. We needed, you know, and our passing choices was poor. So like I explained that at, at half time and, and we saw a vast improvement from everyone. Darwin was giving a ball away cheaply. Jaden was giving as much as I saw on social media, ranting and raving about Jaden. But first half performance wasn't brilliant from Jaden. Got better second half. And then once he scored the goal, then it got even better, you know. But my expectation is that it should be for 90 minutes, not in spurts, not just here and there. You know, so I think just that little talk at half time was what changed the mentality a little bit. Tsekho uh, Niyama, also much better. His biggest ability is on the ball. He's not afraid in tight spaces to run at people, look to combine, little give and goes. First half, he was getting it, passing it sideways, backwards. You know, not being positive, 
you know, and we started to see that in the second half. With work, <laughs> with tactical work, you know. I actually felt in the first half we started to press with just Prince, and because they build up with the two centre backs and the keeper almost plays like a, a false centre back it became difficult for Prince and then we found ourselves 1-0 down so I had to change it so there was a tactical change instead of pressing just with the one I went with the two pushed Hashim a little bit higher um, and then it made it even more difficult for them you know but I felt it wasn't in those like build up phases that that we we caught them because they still had certain amount of control it was once they got into that middle third the second third pass that's where we pressed very, very well, and we caught them. And then once we caught them, now that transitional phase needed to be a lot better, especially in the first half, because we actually create the two chances, the two shots, from a transitional phase, you know, and those are the two good moments, but you could have created at least five or six. In fact, I think it must have been in the first two minutes, Darwin got a ball, we won it, Darwin got it, he could have played Prince in behind straight away. But instead he was looking to play a short pass combined and then he lost it, then he fell over it and then he tried to get up and go again. But the moment was gone, you know. So those those are the key fundamental moments, especially when you're a pressing team like us, that you capitalize on that press because it becomes wasteful. You're working extremely hard to press, especially a team like them, um, to then give it away cheaply. So I felt that in the second half we were a lot better than that. Because at that, sorry, because <clears throat> we were putting them under pressure, but they we were suffocating them. They couldn't come out of their defence because our counter press was was very very good, and our rest defence was was very very good. So that way we could maintain uh, the pressure, which we didn't really see in the first half. So changing the formation a little bit there, I think that was the the trigger. Eric, the quick turnaround time plus the altitude um, and the physical exertion, we can see it in the last five or ten minutes. Does that going to change your thinking for the second leg? Maybe a little bit different approach? Um, I have to give it some thought tomorrow. You know, I don't. I'm not one of those coaches that likes to make massive, massive changes. But we will see, obviously, tomorrow how the players feel. Um, Ideally, as talking about the altitude, the later we can arrive, the better. So obviously, that's a discussion I'll have with our team manager to make sure that we don't arrive there too early. But what's going to be important now is obviously the players recovering. Um, tomorrow's session is purely going to be based on just to see how they feel. Um, send them to cryo because that helps quite quite a lot so we'll try and get uh, at least two cryo sessions in if possible um, tomorrow and, and Friday before we leave and then yeah you know the altitude unfortunately it's the best you can do and then when you got like us we have a, a sponsor it all depends on what time their flights are <laughs> and leave so we want to try and leave on the latest flight that we possibly can get <laughs> Um, <coughs> um, coach, uh, you that uh, there were a lot of talent shown in the first half, second half, you witnessing that. Uh, do you think, I mean, are there any weaknesses that you got from the opening that you can lose them in Orlando as your opportunity of person? No, I don't. I think everything we studied about them, I saw tonight you know, from the from the first whistle. Now it's just about our application. Can we apply ourselves the way we did in the second half for 90 minutes? Because I think we identified all those strengths and weaknesses that they have. And like I said, 
the way we conceded the goal was one of the strengths that we had identified and we allowed them to do it to us. You know? So now it's about that discipline tactically and that organization about dropping off when the coach tells you to drop off uh, than what you did. You know? So I don't think they, they're going to be any different. They might, like tonight, they played with a two. If there was one change, I think it was that. We expected two sixes and a ten, but he came with uh, Maswangani and uh, Dlamini. Um, I think you'll probably do the same at home. Pirates at home look to be offensive. So, so we need to make sure that we capitalize on the mistakes. So it's just, uh, on the, in the build-up of the game, you spoke about the importance of the away goal. You have conceded that. So, mm. how do you feel about that? And then, Compton going to Orlando to have to score on that? Well, like I said before, that was my disappointment. <coughs> the fact that we didn't keep the clean sheet. Um, we spoke about the importance of that um, and how we conceded it. You know, if it was a goal. A guy took a shot from 30 yards outside the box, beating someone and putting it in the top corner. I can accept it, you know. But this one's a little bit hard to accept because it's something we knew and we planned for and we allowed it, you know. So that's the disappointment. Now, what does it mean? It means you have to go there and score. You know, you have to go there and score. So. We've got to literally go with the same mentality as playing at home. Although we're playing away, we've got to be thinking we're playing at home. We've got to be there, go there, positive, look to dominate, uh, in possession, look to create as many chances as possible, and obviously put the ball in the back of the net. Then you're back in the game. You know? So then you score a second, now the way goal counts on, in your favor. Coach, we've spoken about Petrus as a midfielder, as a left back. You happy with the, the centre back form? No, oh, I like adapting people. <laughs> <laughs> now he's done well. I thought he did really, really well uh, tonight. His performance was very, very good. Keanu, I thought Keanu was superb. Uh, ran out of legs. He had a great chance to go to school, but ran out of legs. Um, yeah, so now Lorenzo comes back in to the squad and makes my headaches bigger headaches, which is what you want. That competition, that level of competition is, is important. Wilson, uh, Eric, obviously the goal conceded uh, and the fact that you flew at home to the depth of it. What's, what was the mood like at the end there? I mean, that, were the guys buzzing off that second half? That's, that's one of the greatest one-half performances that you've ever delivered. Yeah, I know. Guys were extremely happy, but at the same time disappointed because they themselves recognized why didn't we do that in the first half? A couple of them came to me straight away. Kamo, uh, Darren, came to me straight away. Hashim said, Jesus, coach, why didn't we play like this in the first half? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Told you so. <laughs> That's the frustration. Sometimes they listen and sometimes they don't. Uh, I was I was gentle. <laughs> Put it that way. I was gentle. No, I was I was gentle. Thank you, coach. Thank you guys. Uh,